What's up guys, we're back today with another video and today we're gonna show you how to test your swimming pool plumbing lines. Let's get started. All right guys, so just to start, uh, we'll start with a simple explanation of what exactly swimming pool plumbing line pressure testing is. Um, and simply put, when a leak detection company performs a pressure test on your plumbing pool, all we're doing is we're checking to make sure that the integrity of your plumbing lines underground are still intact. So whether it's your skimmers, your pool jets, your Polaris, spa jets, main drain, whatever plumbing line uh, you're concerned about within your swimming pool. When a leak detection company comes out to perform their lead detection, one of the most important steps that they're gonna take is they're gonna perform a pressure test on all of your plumbing lines to make sure that you don't have any broken plumbing lines underground. Um, another purpose of the pressure test is if you do in fact have a broken plumbing line underground, uh, your lead detection company is going to use a combination of a water hose as well as an air compressor. And that process is also going to be able to tell you exactly where that plumbing line is in fact broken. All right, so we'll just quickly go over the equipment that we need to be able to pressure test a plumbing line. Uh, number one, we'll start with the water hose. We use water to be able to build up the pressure inside a plumbing line. We typically build it up to about 12 to 15 PSI, and we let it sit there for a couple of minutes to see if it's holding pressure or not holding pressure. Uh, we like to use a water hose. You could also use an air compressor, but because your swimming pool is circulating water, we like to use the hose just to have a similar environment, and we feel that it gives us the best and most accurate results. Uh, next couple things you're gonna need will be some pressure testing plugs. Uh, so for a skimmer, that's almost always gonna be either an inch and a half uh, pressure testing plug like this one, or it's gonna be two inches. Uh, with this skimmer today, we're gonna use that two inch pressure testing plug. Uh, we also have what we like to use, and these are a little bit more universal, but these are inflatable pressure testing plugs. So these can go from an inch and a half up to about two inches. Uh, so we'll use these a lot of times, and of course, for an inflatable pressure testing plug, then we need a bite pump to go with it. So we've got those that we could use as well. A lot of times, if we're struggling to get a plug to fit that plumbing line just right, we'll just go ahead and use an inflatable plug. It makes it a lot easier, a lot faster. Uh, next couple things you're gonna need will be your pressure rig. So we've got one where we'll hook up our water hose right here. Then we can also hook up our air compressor. If we did want to test with air, we could use this. Or if a plumbing line is broken, then we would hook up an air compressor. And that's when we would start trying to find a broken plumbing line underground. Uh, but we're going to hook up with a water hose today. And then we just got our pressure gauge on here to help us see how much PSI is on that plumbing line and whether it's going to be able to hold pressure or not. With your pressure gauge too, you're also going to have one more pressure testing plug. This one's an injector, so you got one line where it gets inflated with our bite pump and then this is gonna feed the water into the plumbing line itself. Uh, so those are all the plugs that we need for pressure testing. Um, of course, we need a drill to be able to take our Jandy valve apart and get access to that plumbing line. Uh, then we're gonna have our air compressor. Again, we can test with air, sometimes we do, but typically we save the air compressor for finding a broken plumbing line underground. Um, and then obviously you're gonna need a power cord to provide power to the air compressor that you're gonna be using. All right guys, so step number one for pressure testing your plumbing line is to go ahead and plug up that plumbing line within your pool itself. So like I said, this skimmer is a two inch plumbing line. So I've got my two inch rubber uh, pressure testing plug right here. And we're just gonna get in the skimmer, get that plug in there, and we'll plug up that skimmer plumbing line. And I will show you. So we've got the two inch pressure testing plug and our skimmer plumbing line. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. And just to show you guys what this looks like, uh, your skimmer plumbing line is pretty much always going to be the port in the back. So if you're looking at the pool from this perspective, the plumbing line will almost always tie into the back of the skimmer housing. So there's two ports down there, one in the back, which is the plumbing line, and the one in the front, a lot of times, is going to be an equalizer line, which will be right in front of your skimmer, uh, just a couple, just about a foot down from the bottom of the tile. And just to show you real quick what this looks like underwater. So we got our skimmer plumbing line all plugged up in the pool. The next step is to go over to the equipment. We'll take our water hose, our pressure testing gear, our compressor, whatever we might need, and we'll start taking our Danny valves apart. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, so we're just about ready to rock and roll here. We got all of our equipment, drug over to the pool equipment, got our drill, got our bike pump, pressure testing gear, 
pressure testing plugs, water hose. So we're just about ready to go. One thing I'm gonna point out is this skimmer that we're testing today is a little bit unconventional because this swimming pool, uh, this specific swimming pool has what's called an M4 cleaning system. So the skimmer that we're testing is actually responsible for helping run that M4 cleaning system. Uh, so that line is gonna be this one right over here that we'll take apart in just a second. But just to show you what would be a little bit more of a traditional setup, I'll grab the camera and point out this right now. Basically guys, on a more traditional setup, your skimmer is obviously going to be a suction line, meaning it's sucking all of your water to your pool pump and filter. And so that's always going to be your plumbing lines in front of your main filter pump. So just looking at this real quick, thankfully they've got this labeled, so it's nice and easy. But you got your spa drain, which is pretty much always going to be by itself. Then a more traditional setup is you would typically have two lines on one side of this kind of actuator valve right here. Um, and you would, have, you would have three plumbing lines, but two would be together. So typically you would have like skimmer, skimmer, then pool drain uh, but because they've got the m4 cleaning system and they've got skimmers running that m4 cleaning system they've got one skimmer by itself this skimmer line and this skimmer line are tied together so that's why they keep this one turned off and they have the pool drain over here but for us today the skimmer plumbing line that we're going to test is this one so go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and take off this jandy valve so it can get access to the plumbing line and we'll get it pressure tested so removing this jandy valve lid is super easy guys all you have to do is take your drill and we're just going to pop out all these screws so one at a time we'll just start and that one's stripped and we'll just start popping these guys out sometimes you have to reposition that handle there's eight of them then we just give that a little wiggle pops right off now we have access to our plumbing line that we're going to test all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our inflatable injection plug and we're just going to slip this into the plumbing line that we want to test this is the plug that's going to fill the plumbing line up with water and tell us where the psi in the plumbing line is at uh, so then once we slip it inside there all we do is we take our bike pump and just pump that guy up typically if you have a pressure gauge on your bike pump you can go up to about 50 psi 60 psi you don't want to go any higher than that otherwise you're going to start breaking your plugs really fast uh, our bike pump has unfortunately lost the pressure gauge that used to be right there uh, but we can just go by feel and we can tell when that plug is nice and tight all right guys so we're ready to pressure test we've got our injector plug and our swimming pool equipment we've got our skimmer plugged up in the pool so now we're ready to put some pressure on the plumbing line like i said we're going to build it up to about 12 or 15 psi we're going to let it sit there for about a minute or two minutes and as long as we don't have a pressure drop on our pressure gauge then we know that plumbing line is going to be just fine and we can move on to the next so let's do this now let's go ahead and take our water hose uh, we've got it on it's got pressure we're ready to go so we're just going to start filling up our plumbing line uh, we'll build it up to 15 psi and we're just going to check it we'll see what happens so as you guys can see we've got this skimmer plumbing line now built up to about 14 and a half psi and what we do when we're pressure testing is we typically build it up to that range of about 12 or 15 psi and then we'll take out a clock or a phone and we'll start our stopwatch to where we let it sit at that pressure for about a minute or two minutes if it holds pressure we know that the plumbing line is just fine and it's not going to have any kind of breaks underground every now and then it might have a very small pressure loss or that pressure gauge goes down say a quarter of a pound or a half a pound the reality is that's going to be too small for us to be able to find underground what we're concerned about finding is a plumbing line that's losing one two three four or more pounds of pressure over the course of a minute when we find something like that then we know we're dealing with a broken plumbing line underground and we're gonna to have to get our air compressor to try to track it down uh, but let's keep an eye on this pressure gauge right now and we'll make sure that we're holding pressure and that way we know the skimmer plumbing line is good so what we'll do is we'll pull our phone out we'll put a minute on the clock and we'll see what happens all right guys the time has come so we take a look at our clock we see that we've got over a minute on the clock now now we double check our pressure gauge we can see that it has not budged one bit that thing is sitting right at 14 and a half psi so we know that skimmer plumbing line is perfectly fine and we can move on to the next one all right guys so that's it that's how we pressure test a swimming pool plumbing line uh, like i said earlier with this skimmer it's a little unorthodox because this one's connected to an m4 cleaning system typically with a more regular pool you would just have one line right here that you have to worry about two plumbing lines if you have two skimmers in your pool but it would be a little bit more straightforward uh, but that's the process uh, like we said plug it up in the pool get your stuff over by the equipment get your hose your compressors whatever you need get access to the plumbing line pressure test it build it up to 12 15 psi let it sit there for a couple minutes as long as it holds pressure you know that plumbing line is going to be just fine uh, once you do the plumbing line then you just move on to the next you just go from skimmer to skimmer main drain pool jets polaris 
spa drain, spa float well. Um, typically with most pools, it's gonna be fairly straightforward if you have a simple pool. Obviously, the more complicated and more uh, luxurious the swimming pool becomes, a lot of times pressure testing can become much more involved. Sometimes we're dealing with swimming pools that have got three or four pumps, that they've got shear descents, they've got dead jets, and they've got waterfalls, and, and an M4 cleaning system. And so while this setup is a pretty straightforward one, it's just a pool and spa combo, a lot of times pressure testing can become pretty involved, and that might be when you need to hire a professional. But anyways, guys, uh, that's how we pressure test a plumbing line. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how you pressure test a swimming pool plumbing line. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, smash the subscribe button. And if you have any questions about your pool uh, yourself, if you have anything that's going on, any problems that you're trying to resolve, post it in the comments below. I'll try my best to help you in the comments. If I can't help you in the comments, I'll try to make a future video about it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching again. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.